Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it is the end of July and it is a beautiful winter day today. Uh, I thought I'd film near a window, so I don't, I apologize if, if the light fluctuates during this video. It's scent of the month time and most worn for July. So I'll talk about what I um, wore several times this month because um, there are three fragrances that I'm gonna talk about. And two of them, uh, basically, I, I wore a few times because they, are the, they were the latest acquisitions to my um, fragrance wardrobe. And the first one is from Bogue Perfumery. And this one here is Mem. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about how, in particular, this one smells because to be honest, um, it's kind of, I, I'm still figuring, figuring it out because yes, you know, it's all about lavender, but there is, there is a lot going on in this one and I would be doing it a, a injustice to try and describe what I'm smelling. Just, um, I would recommend if anyone wants to know more about this, read and watch reviews on it because it is, you'll, you're going to get quite a lot of varied uh, opinions and uh, about what this is, what this smells like. So uh, do that, but I will eventually review this one myself, but I, I just need to get a handle on what this is all about. And my next one uh, is one of the other bottles that I, that I got uh, recently. And this is Sticky Fingers by Francesca Bianchi. This is her latest one. Being patchouli dominant, um, I was very, very interested in, in this one because I am on a patchouli, you know, kick at the moment, uh, and it hasn't disappointed. It's got uh, it's got a signature in there with the patchouli, and this will be reviewed eventually as well. But I'm enjoying this immensely. Now, the the other one um, that I wore the most in July. It's also, um, this is from a sample, but finally, I, I'll just give you a bit of background. I, uh, there is one very highly praised uh, niche house out there that I do not own any bottles. I mean, it's not the only one, but um, I have taken a long time to find uh, a, a fragrance from Frederick Mahl that I love or even like enough to consider buying a full bottle of and I think I may have found it. The one that uh, I've worn a few times and enjoyed a lot this month uh, is a Noir Epith and look I what can I say it's not it's not um, amazing well I mean it's not amazingly complex or um, even that original, but it is so, it's such a lovely scent that I enjoy wearing and it makes me smile because the opening, the opening is to me a, a really beautiful representation of uh, a clove studded orange, sweet orange, okay? And uh, I've been, I've been kind of on the hunt for, for a, a really lovely um, orange note in a perfume. Um, and this one, usually you'll find them in fresher type fragrances that you would wear in sort of warmer weather, but this one here um, definitely is more for uh, the cooler seasons. But I do love this this opening in Wada Piste, and then as it dries down, it basically uh, evolves into this melange of um, other spices. It's it's warm. Um, I'm wearing. It's my scent of the day today, so. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely lovely on my skin and has very, very good staying power. So I think <clears throat> when I get around to it, this may become my first Frederick Mahl. Who would have thought? Okay, but now we move on to my scent of the month. And this one here is from Latis and Parfumeur. Uh, I have a, I have a decant of this, which will which will last me a fair while. Now, those those of you who have watched my channel for long enough will maybe be aware that 
for a long time, Timbuktu from La Tissant Parfume was my absolute favourite um, perfume from that house. Uh, it, it's a, an all-time love for me. But this one, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm sure, has gone past it for me. This one is from the same perfumer. It's from uh, Bertrand de Duchefort. This one's Tsonka. Now, my decant has come from one of the bottles that looks like this. And obviously, they don't look like that anymore. Um, so I don't know what the new versions smell like, if they've changed at all. I don't want to. I don't want to assume that they have. Uh, but it does appear that it's getting in, increasingly difficult to find these bottles um, to buy. So I'm gonna. I'm, I've got my eye out um, because Latis and Parfume are, are pretty reasonably priced compared to other niche fragrances. And I would really love a bottle of this one. Look, um, there are there are. It shares some similarities with Timbuktu, but um, and it's mainly coming from the incense and papyrus. I think they share a papyrus note. There might be some vetiver in there, but where Timbuktu has this kind of um, sunny warmth to it, Tsonka has uh, a little bit of shady coldness to it um, and there are different notes that are that are causing that effect um, and I find I find that Zonka just keeps me interested for longer than Timbuktu does although I still love Timbuktu but I I was kind of just blown away by how um, lovely Zonka is and maybe it's because I have been wearing it in the colder weather um, and maybe in the warmer weather I'll, I'll enjoy Timbuktu a lot more. But look, Tsonka is my scent of the month for July 2020 um, and that's, that's it for this video. So uh, I just wanted to update you all and uh, I hope you're all doing well and thank you again for watching the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it and I'll see you all soon. Bye.